another video. Today we're in uh, Old Saw in Kent. Yeah, we're going to visit um, Old Saw Manor. Give you a look around. It's in a place called Paxel. It's a beautiful area as you can see. An orchard of some kind over there. Behind me is one of the many Elst buildings in Kent. This here was once feeling around inside here and I found a coin, a Victorian coin, quite a few years ago. Lots of information about the village history and the history of Old Saw. It was built at the time of uh, Edward the First, around 1290. Can't believe they still have these bloody things everywhere. Ridiculous. It's a layout. Love the stonework. And these old doors, I think they're original. It's going into the old saw manor itself. This looked like the kind of place where they would um, keep wine, beer maybe. Got an original door here. Not sure where that comes from. This door here, this old 
man that connects to a house that people still live in and this is how they get in. I think they look after the place, close it up at night and open it in the morning. You've got the staircase up. Another door. The original woodwork. This is my favourite part of Old Saw. This, I love this window. I took a lovely picture of my girlfriend there a couple of years ago, looking out. Do you remember coming here, little man? You got mem sort of. Got sort some of. memories. Must have been a good six years ago we were here. Still got the uh, wood door with carvings on it. There's a figure of a, I don't know, is that a knight or a religious person? I also found by sticking my hand in a hole, a very old padlock. I believe it was in that one. The place has a beautiful atmosphere. This is where they would uh, wash, wash their hands. This is where people would wash their hands, such things. Here, I imagine was a fireplace. It was um, blocked off in 1949 by the looks of it. Earlier on in the video, you saw when I went under a wall and looked up. That was where it looked up from. station. Yeah, just on our way home I thought we'd uh, have a look at an interesting name station, the Bat and Ball Station. It's near Seven Oaks. There's no trains today because the uh, idiotic drivers and other staff are um, refusing to work. Apparently this is somebody's house as well, it's a people's residence. It looks like there's been some uh, subhuman filth vandals. They've let off all the fire extinguishers and chucked rubbish everywhere. It's a historic station and somebody would come along and do this. Boils my piss. rubbish they've thrown onto the track. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also hit that bell.
goodbye all. Bye.